Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is time for a purchase or pass. We have a lot to talk about just in time for the sale. So grab a snack, grab something to drink, cause it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> We're gonna start off with something I am so excited about. I got up at 5 a.m. just to get this release. Made by Mitchell just released an XL curve case, and oh my gosh. When I tell you this is a blush lover's dream, and if you're new to my channel, this is my favorite product from Made by Mitchell. It's his curve case in the shade Deep. I absolutely love this formula. I'm wearing these three bronzers today, and when I tell you this formula is so yummy and juicy he has three different curve cases light medium and then the deep one if you've tried this formula and you love it you're probably gonna be so excited for this release because listen i got up at 5 a.m i forgot to set my alarm but my body just knew i got up at like 4 40 something and when i went on to beauty bay it was already up right before 5 a.m so i was like add to cart it also just came out with new bronze pods which these are luminous bronzers and i am really not a luminous bronzer girly i don't even own a luminous bronzer anymore but i love made by mitchell he says these are just like the hourglass bronzers but better i've never tried the hourglass bronzers made by mitchell's products has really not steered me wrong thus far so i was like let me just pick up one just to try it out and just to see if i like it as maybe like a bronzer kind of topper i am really really excited for this my order already shipped from beauty bay i always get my products from made by mitchell from beauty bay i highly highly recommend if you're shopping made by mitchell get it from beauty bay because listen the shipping is seven dollars as opposed to getting it from his actual website which can run you like twenty dollars also like our customs and all of that is already included in the beauty bay prices i am just beyond excited about this now ColourPop seems to be coming out with their version of the click pen plumping lippies and i'm not even gonna lie i am very excited for this do i need another one absolutely not but you know it's been a really long time since i bought something from ColourPop, and this is kind of like the first release in a while where i'm like ooh, i like that i love this kind of lippy the shade range is not like the best i feel like there definitely could have been more shades but i'm very excited to try this out we already know ColourPop is very affordable and i do think what makes me even more excited for this is that they're calling it the so juicy plumping gloss balm if you've been subscribed to me for a really long time you know that my favorite lip product from ColourPop was the so juicy squeeze tube glosses those were my absolute favorite lippies from ColourPop and we know ColourPop had so many so i'm really excited to see that they're bringing back that so juicy it kind of makes me feel like this is going to be that squeeze tube formula just in stick form and i'm very excited about it not only are they dropping these but they're also dropping lip liners that are also plumping i don't really know how i feel about a plumping lip liner but i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna try it this is gonna be available this thursday so mark your calendars if this is something you want to check out i was starting to get a little bit nervous okay i was getting nervous because give beauty has not launched anything in a really long time we have two new products from them the first one is the dewy plump collagen cheek tint this is a liquid blush if beauty already has blushes in their line but i'm excited to see liquid blushes and the shade that's really catching my eye is that deepest shade i love a burnt ready burgundy almost kind of color if it's done right you know i also really like that hot pink i feel like the hot pink and that deepest color are the two that are calling me i'm definitely going to be buying this now the other product they're launching is the dewy plump collagen lip gel kind of seems like it's like a lip oil but like not really you know what's really nice about this is that these shades match the blushes so if you want a nice little monochromatic look you got it with this product i am going to pick up maybe one shade of the lip gel just because i'm really picky when it comes to lippies i really really am i don't really know how i feel about a gel but for all i know it could be like a lip oil so i i don't know i don't know but i am gonna pick up one to try it out next up we have this really cool release from real techniques listen i love real techniques brushes if you are a beginner with makeup even if you're a makeup artist real technique brushes are top tier so this collection looks really really nice this is a solar power golden hour glow base set which looks like it's a bunch of brushes that you can use with like your glowy kind of makeup products and it also comes with a spatula which i think is a really interesting touch so i don't know i'm kind of eyeing that i do hope that this collection comes to ulta because i would totally pick up 
a couple items from this. We also have a soft shadow contour brush. We have a sponge trio, an eye set, and just a ton of brushes. These look amazing. I love Real Techniques. If this comes to Ulta, I'm definitely going to pick up something. I like it. I feel like it's like inspired by the sun. I love the color of the brushes. These brushes match the vibe I got going on today. I don't usually wear orange. Kind of did like a monochromatic look today and I, I really like it. This right here is very interesting. One size is collaborating with Wicked. Just when I saw the sneak peeks, what I was hoping what would be in this collection would be, you know, obviously an, an entire green palette, maybe an entire pink palette. Oh my gosh, you know what would have been so cool is if they did a cheek clapper trio that was green, okay? But it was a pH changing blush, so it goes on pink. That would have been sick. You know, we don't need another pH product, but how cool would that have been? I really wanted to see more in this collection, you know? We have an eye and face palette which retails for $49. I don't think I'm gonna pick up this face palette. I don't really see myself using this palette. The highlighter is not looking like it'll work for me. I do think this brush is cool though. It's the off the handle complexion brush. I love that it's kind of like a broomstick. You know, it's super cool. And then we have the popular glitter setting spray, which I think will be really nice for like all over the body. Perfect for festival season. There's some really cool products in here. I just would have loved to have seen maybe separate palettes and like blushes. But anyways, congratulations to Patrick on collaborating with Wicked. Wicked is unbelievably popular. So that is a really amazing accomplishment to be able to collab with Wicked. Let's talk e.l.f. I did want to mention this because I was so excited when I saw it. I already purchased this. e.l.f. just came out with new Halo Glow Pinky Puffs. Okay, you get three little mini puffs for powder application. I have been seeing the Huda Beauty powder puffs, like the little baby ones. I would go on the Huda website, add it to cart, then the shipping would calculate and the taxes and I was like, ooh, is it really worth that price total for these little mini puffs? So I like never got it. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you, Elf. You just gave me what I've been wanting, what I've been missing. I ordered this with the quickness. This was $6, so super affordable. Also, side note, if you're a fan of Love is Blind, if you saw the new season, and also if you saw the reunion, you know, they didn't really touch on Jimmy and Chelsea's, you know, relationship, but Elf, Elf brought them together for a YouTube video. It was like what we needed, you know, what was missing from the reunion. So if you want to like, see a little bit more about them and like their relationship and things like that, definitely go and check out Elf's YouTube channel because listen, I was like, they have a lot of, they have really good chemistry. Elf did their thing. They knew what we wanted and they delivered like they do with the makeup. They always deliver it. Makeup Forever is coming out with two new face palettes. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before, except they only had like one shade that really wasn't inclusive, but we have two now and one is for like light to medium and the other one's for like medium to deep. I'm not really familiar with this formula. I've never tried it. It is pretty pricey. A long time ago, I saw someone say this formula was super, super thin and you really have to build it up. I don't know if, if it's super thin. I don't know if this is something I would want, but let me know if you've tried this type of formula before. I believe they used to have like an all blush one. Did they change this formula? How is it? We have a new release from Laura Mercier. They just dropped a pressed version of their Ultra Blur powder. I am actually very intrigued to try this. The only thing that's really stopping me is the fact that it's $50 for a pressed powder. Why? Why is it $50 for a pressed powder? This powder costs more than their regular loose powder. I don't understand it. I don't get it. And this I don't get. The Sephora sale is coming up, so maybe that could be a little bit justified, but paying for this at regular price is like, I cannot justify that. I wanna see this in store and I wanna feel it and see how much coverage it gives because I'm really looking for a nice brightening powder and I don't really know if this is gonna give me the brightness that I'm trying to achieve. This is a maybe for me, but absolutely, if I bought this, it would be on a sale. It would not be at full price. All right, looks like we have a new spring collection from Dior and we have two new Dior blushes. I saw a lot of people were really, really excited about this. I'm gonna pass on this collection. I don't really buy too many Dior products. I've tried the Dior blushes, not my favorite blush formula, but I know that there's a fan base out there who love the blushes, so I'm sure if you're a fan of the blushes, you're probably really excited to see new shades. So if you're excited, I'm excited for you. I know how excited I get when more blush colors of my favorite blush formula comes out. So I can definitely relate. I'm gonna pass on this collection though. Speaking of blushes, wow, 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 so many blushes. But NARS has been teasing that something cheeky is coming back. If you've been paying close attention, you probably would have seen that NARS has not restocked their blushes at Sephora. 
Their blushes have literally just about disappeared from the app. So I think this is absolutely going to be their blushes reformulated. Probably to be talc free. You know, I'm not mad at it. I do hope that those of you who have your fan favorite shades from NARS, they bring those back. I also hope we get new shades as well. I'm excited to see the shade range on this. I hope they do not disappoint because when it comes to NARS and the shade range, they usually do a pretty good job and give us a lot of options. So I'm excited to see this. They haven't really shown it yet. This is just a sneak peek, just in time for the Sephora sale. Jisoo just came out with new tinted lip oils and I've actually heard a lot of things about their first lip oil. This is a very expensive lip oil and there's other lip oils on the market that I would prefer to buy over this one. So I am gonna pass on this. So Too Faced is coming out with four different Different shades of their cream bronzer sticks at first I had the deepest shade in my cart but then I don't know if it's actually gonna be deep enough so I don't really know if I'm gonna get this if this comes in store I'll probably like swatch it and see if I think it'll work for me but right now it's gonna be a pass there's only four shades I do think we could have gotten more Too Faced definitely could have given us more absolutely all right so it looks like Sage just came out with another version of their concealer this one's supposed to have a more medium coverage it is radiant their first concealer was radiant but with a light coverage I honestly would have loved to have seen a natural finish concealer. Well, their first concealer was radiant. Even though it was light coverage, I would have loved to have seen a different finish. But I wonder if Say is just that brand that's just gonna give us all glowy <laughs> everything. If that's the case, I understand. I get it. Because it is radiant, I am gonna pass on it. I've seen people use it online and it is super, super radiant. And when it comes to radiant concealers, I really try to stay away from them because I don't need my texture to be emphasized, especially under the eyes. Kat McGrath just launched a new shade in her pressed powder. This is a pink shade. I'm really shocked that they haven't had this shade before, you know? Because, you know, we see a lot of pink from Pat. We see a lot of pink. I actually have one. I have like the yellowy one. I don't really use it because I, I don't really feel like the yellowy shade is like a good shade for me. I'm going to pass on this. I don't really reach for the one that I have. I know people are going to be excited about this because it is pink. I will say that this looks more of like a blush lighter than like a luminous blush. Give Beauty has luminous blushes, but they don't look like highlighters. They have a little bit of like a sheen to it, but this is looking just like the highlighter formula. So I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be a blush lighter. I will definitely pick up a shade or two to try it out. They're super affordable. They're like $26, I believe. I love her highlighter formula, so I'm not mad at it. I just feel like she should have called it a blush lighter because I'm over here thinking it's a luminous blush. This is going to be available soon. So if you want to wait till the Sephora sale comes to pick this up, perfect time. Soul de Janeiro is coming out with SPF products and I'm really shocked that they didn't have this before but we're getting the Real Radiance body spray um is this a body like kind of lotion it's a bunch of like SPF 50 products I definitely will be picking up something to try out I'm not entirely sure which product I want to try but I will pick up one of these products to try out this next one is really really exciting Jackie Ina is coming out with her own fragrances and these are going to be available right before the Sephora sale like two days before so perfect perfect timing she's coming out with two I'm not too sure how much these retail for but the first one is called I am her I don't know if this is the bottle I would have envisioned for her to come out with she's also coming out with another fragrance called hard to get so we're getting two new fragrances on this drop and this one has lemon jasmine and whipped vanilla and I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this one a lot I can't really find the notes of I am her very excited for her congratulations to Jackie Ina this is honestly super on brand for her and if I like how these smell at Sephora I will be picking them up I'm excited to try it out I love new fragrances the last release I wanted to talk about is from glam light the glam light X kiss collection is now available I have not placed my order yet I did not want to fight that traffic you know on launch day but I'm definitely gonna be picking up the palette at this point I buy every palette from glam lights collections I love their formula the formula is not gonna be an issue I really like this color story because it is super colorful of course that is glam light so but yeah this collection's really really nice if you're a kiss fan I hope that glam light did this collection justice for you there's so many super cool products we have eye bases mascara mascara primer a lip kit like there's so much in this collection I really haven't listened to anything kiss before but I can admire the collection of course but that is it for today's video I hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for hanging out with me let me know what is on your list what are you buying what are you skipping let your girl know i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys